happen again. You know, it just, I think probably the, the most uh, devious thing evil ever did was to learn to turn up the volume. I mean, I don't know, you know, what, I know a lot of people believe a lot of different things, but I really do believe in evil in the world. And, you know, especially now, it's just so much noise, you know. We've got, you know, 500 channels on TV, you know, there's the internet, no matter where you go, there's advertisements blasting you everywhere. Your egos, you know, constantly being alerted, you know, there's sex everywhere, you know, you know, do this, you deserve that, you know, money, fame, chase this, chase that kind of thing, you know, and it just becomes such a barrage of, of noise that you get inundated with on a daily basis that it's, it, it can be really difficult sometimes to keep mindful of what is true and good and what your focus and goals should be you know so I guess that's kind of what you know bait and switch is about you know so I, you can apply the the idea to different people different things you know different ideas you know but right now it's it's kind of a you know we're in the political atmosphere you know in the US and a song like Bait and Switch, it's basically me sitting there, you know, watching all the candidates for everything from local, county, you know, state, federal government, you know, running and they're pitching what they, what they want to do. And it, you wonder how much of it is a, a, is a bait and switch. You know, I'm going to tell people what they want to hear so I can get in there and do what I want to do. And that's to say that people aren't you know, genuine, that they don't have, you know, righteous goals and, and true, you know, feelings about how to properly, you know, govern and lead and, and help others. But, you know, in this soundbite society where everything is dissected into seconds, you know, it's like, you know, it's like, Candidates are almost forced to say things or blur the lines or not say everything that they want to say because of fear that that one little snippet out of a, you know, a 45-minute, you know, speech will ruin their career, you know. And I think we get, you know, so sucked in sometimes as a public into you know, those little seconds and making sure that we get everything that we want every single minute of every single day, and not even minutes, even in seconds, you know, that the candidates maybe feel falsely or truly driven to, to, to be that way. Though I, I, I don't doubt that there's some of them out there that, you know, they really want the, you know, the the pile of money or the fame or the the what have you or the stepping stone. I mean, why would... I, it always boggles my mind why, you know, the the President of the United States only makes like a few hundred thousand dollars a year, but how much is spent to get that job? I mean, I can believe that people who want to become the President of the United States maybe really truly do believe that they want to to, to guide the country and lead the country, you know, in a righteous way, but th just that, when I hear that and I think of that, you know, how much is spent, you know, and it's not, it's not one side, it's both sides. You know, I'm not going to sit here and point the finger that it's all on one side or either side of the aisle, it's all around. There's, there's plenty of guilt to go around. And, you know, we have to, I think even as a, as a public, we have to look at ourselves, you know. You know, we live where we live and we have the opportunities we have and how much of our public votes, how much of our public actually pays attention. You know, so I guess that's what the song is kind of about, is just to, to be 
alert and aware and to maybe slow down and take your time and you know be a little bit more purposeful if that's even a word in your decision making you know not just about you know who you're going to vote for or if you're going to vote you know but even you know what you what kind of path you're going to take your life down you know are you going to take this way because it's offering this opportunity or are you going to go that way because it's offering something different and even though it's offering something you know what's what's the next 10 steps or what's the next you know 6 months or year four years, 12, 10, you know, whatever is going to offer. So that's kind of what the whole idea of bait and switch is really about.